So a couple weeks ago, I was hanging out with a few people and we started talking about fear. I don't remember how we got on the conversation, but it led to me saying that I'm not afraid of anything. Right after I said that, literally, it seemed so simulated, okay? It seemed like it was not real. Right after I said that, the conversation switched to people talking about hurricanes, natural disasters, all of these fear-based things. The conversation went from me saying, yeah, I'm not afraid of anything, to the people now talking about fear. Oh, did you hear about the hurricane on the news? Did you see how this happened? Or whatever. And I was just like, And they were like, what are you talking about? I'm like, as soon as I said I wasn't afraid of anything, you guys started to talk about fear-based, low vibrational things. And they were basically like, well, how is it that you're not afraid of anything? Everybody's afraid of something. And I explained how the majority of my life I lived in fear, okay? And once I started my spiritual journey, my spiritual awakening and learning the true reality of nature, the true reality of life, then I wasn't afraid of anything anymore. And I think that once you get to a point where you're not afraid of death, that's when you're able to let go of all your other fears. And so basically they they asked me, they were like, well, what if a stranger comes up to you and comes up to you with a gun? And I was like, well, then I would accept if, you know, it's my time, then it's my time. And that's when they were like, okay, so it's you not being afraid of death. So with all of that being said, you guys, I just want to talk to you why you need to stop being afraid, okay? And I don't like telling people what to do, but this is something that I recommend for everybody. Stop being afraid because fear holds you back from living your life. Fear is a negatively charged emotion. We have an emotional scale, right? Everything has a polarity. Everything has an opposite. The opposite of fear is courage. Do you want to be on the spectrum of fear where you're worried about everything, have all these thoughts in your mind about the worst that could happen? Or do you want to be on the spectrum of courage where you stand tall in the face of opposition, where you pursue forward regardless of the possibilities and the what ifs that might hold you back, right? Do you want to be courageous and embody the essence of a warrior or do you want to be fearful and embody the essence of a warrior if you get what i'm saying right so fear is a negatively charged emotion and negativity keeps us in a low vibration it keeps us stuck fear creates darkness we are spiritual beings having a human experience. We are both spiritual and human, but our bodies are made of light. Our spiritual bodies are made of light. We have our subtle body, which is our aura, our, our spirit, our soul. And then we have our physical body, which is composed of matter. Matter is dense material. Matter is formed from darkness and darkness drives out light. So part of our spiritual journey is being able to transmute the darkness, which is our physical body, into light, which is our spiritual body, right? So we want to become our spiritual light body. And if you're afraid, that is very hard to do, okay? You can't be filled with light if you're filled with fear. It's like a contradiction. So uh, darkness is dense, light is light in the sense of weight. Our spiritual bodies are light and our earthly physical bodies are heavy. Heaven is above, earth is below. The more we're attached to our fears, the more we're attached to this earth. And the more we are courageous and filled with light instead of darkness, the closer we are to ascension, to heaven, to a higher realm, a higher state of consciousness. I wanted to create this video to just encourage you that if there are things that you are afraid of, it's a great time to work towards letting go and releasing those fears, okay? And it's a process. It's it's not easy. It takes time. You have to first get to the root of why you're afraid. What first made you afraid of this thing? 
Go back all the way to the beginning. Why am I afraid of spiders? Was I taught to be afraid of spiders? Was there a situation that happened that caused me to fear spiders? Go all the way back to the root and figure out what happened and then work through that, process that information, and then challenge yourself to, instead of be afraid, be courageous. Like I said, it, it takes some time. It doesn't happen overnight, but you have all the time in the world, right? We are on a journey. There's, there's, there's no race to get to the finish line. And is there a finish line? Really? You know what I mean? So that's one thing that you can do. Go back to the beginning of your fear. Now, another thing that you can do is practice affirmations. Positive affirmations help to rewire your brain and help to kind of get rid of old programming and install new programming. So if there's anything that you're afraid of, practice affirmations, saying affirmations around that thing, but turn it into something positive. So for example, if you are, you know, I like say you don't like to speak publicly or something like that you can use a positive affirmation of like i'm a wonderful speaker and i use my words to convey my message successfully something like that all in all i made this video with the intent to encourage you to stop being afraid if you're watching this video if you are on my channel then likely you're interested in your spiritual journey and ascending, right? Because that's mostly what my uh, channel is about. So if you are having trouble going to the, lex the next level with your journey, getting rid of fear can be a step that you can use to help you move forward. Fear is bondage. We don't wanna be bound to anything, okay? We wanna be free and we wanna be light and fear does not allow for that to happen. Another thing I didn't mention is fear is a form of control. People in power use fear to control other people. Anybody who is afraid and isn't in control of their minds are easily controlled and fear is the number one way to be controlled. Think about your parents, okay? What did your, your parents do when they wanted you to do something? They instilled fear into you, right? And that's how they were able to get you to do what they wanted you to do, all right? So just, just think about that for a moment. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'd love to hear what you guys think about fear. I'd love to hear if there have been anybody who you've seen try to intentionally invoke fear in you. Let me know in the comments below what it is that you're afraid of and how you plan to transcend that fear and become courageous. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that we can stay connected. I'm sending you all so much love, so much light, and so much positivity. And until the next sunrise or sunset, namaste.